Today we're here for the launch of the Baton Rouge Bike Share Program. Blue Cross is a proud supporter. Um, we have been a bike share program throughout Louisiana and glad to see it launching in Baton Rouge bike rental program so people uh, download an app on their phone or they can get a, a card to be able to rent a bike throughout Baton Rouge uh, and a person rides from one station to another makes biking easy and available to college students to people visiting town to people who just work downtown and other parts of Baton Rouge. Blue Cross's mission is to improve the health and lives of people in Louisiana and we certainly know that active transportation whether walking or biking are part of living a healthy lifestyle and this just makes it a bit easier to get from place A to place B in a healthy active way. As a physician, it's pretty clear that physical activity of any type is good for the heart and vascular system. So whether you're young or old, some exercise on a bike is a great thing. What would you recommend to people maybe on a first-time basis that hadn't ridden a bike in a while? Well, they say that you never forget how to ride a bike, but we also advise whether it's been a long time or a short time to always use a bike helmet, take your time, be cognizant of the traffic around you, and things should go well. And what recommendations do you have for bicycling in the heat? Well, in any activity that's outside during the heat, our members and all those in the community should be aware that they should stay well hydrated, listen to their bodies, and uh, take advantage of the signals that you get that you should um, drink, that you should rest when appropriate, and those things will keep you out of trouble. We've designed this bike to be rugged, durable, and comfortable. So it's got a swappable battery that our team can swap in the field. It's got a front motor. That motor is going to allow you as a rider to go longer, go up and down hills uh, with ease. So the technology around it is something that we're very proud of. It also has a lock to mechanism. So you retract the lock from the basket. It locks through the front wheel uh, around a rack. So making it more secure and also creating some order here in the, the city of Baton Rouge. Now, how does this work as far as uh, people uh, wanting to access these bicycles? Yeah, so you would easily download the Gotcha app. Uh, in the app, you would register. That registration takes uh, 30 seconds. That allows you to see where the bikes are in the system. Simply scan the QR code through the app. That allows you to unlock it and go about your day. You return that to another one of the mobility hubs, uh, and there are 50 of them for our phase one launch. I am so excited about the uh, bike share program that we're launching here in Baton Rouge. It's a beautiful day to do it. Um, it's going to certainly add additional mobility for our residents who choose to bike. Uh, certainly aligns with my vision for a healthy city and uh, getting us out of our cars sometimes and, and on bikes. So it's, uh, it's a great addition, very great compliment uh, to mobility for Baton Rouge. What does this offer uh, the citizens of Baton Rouge, uh, particularly when it comes to comparing with other cities this size? Well, when we talk about uh, quality of place issues, which is certainly a conversation that we have a lot, uh, progressive cities uh, have bike share programs. Uh, bikes are an option for mobility, and so it certainly pu puts us up with the smart cities and the cities that uh, emphasize uh, quality of place issues. You just had a chance to ride one of these oh, bikes. Tell awesome. us about it. It's awesome. It's very easy. You barely have to pedal and it pedals for you. That's what's hard, to getting used to the fact that you don't have to pedal as hard. So, yeah, good. How far did you go? Uh, I just went around the block a couple times to get used to it and it's really, really good. I even rented one and everything, so it's great. Why is the hospital involved in this project? Uh, well, you know, it's related to health. But more than anything, you just want Baton Rouge to be really cool, get to the next level, and this is a way for us to contribute to that new image of what we want to do and hopefully get people to participate and, and uh, use the bikes and pressure to make sure that we have great bike lanes and places to ride, so yeah. What a great day it is. I'm Davis Rora, Director of the Downtown Development District here in Baton Rouge. Today, the City of Baton Rouge and Gotcha launched Baton Rouge's Bike Share Program. The system will include 500 electric pedal assist bikes with 50 stations throughout the city, LSU, and Southern University. The bike share program will provide residents, commuters, visitors, and students with an accessible and affordable transportation option that promotes active uh, mobility. The initiative aligns with the Mayor Broom's Healthy City Initiative and complements the Move BR Program Road Improvement Program. In addition, the program arrives downtown at a time where we have completed several bicycle-friendly projects, including the Mississippi Levee Trail, North Boulevard Town Square, downtown Greenway and North Boulevard, and the River Road Multi-Use Path. 
In addition, several downtown bicycle projects are currently or soon will be underway, including the East Boulevard, TJ Jemison Boulevard portion of the downtown Greenway, bike ramps and rails on the riverfront pedestrian bridge, which were just installed yesterday, and the Louisiana Connector that will connect the government street bike lanes to the downtown Greenway. Baton Rouge is becoming a bike-friendly city, and we welcome Gotcha and thank the many partners and sponsors that helped make this happen. Gotcha operates in 100 shared e-mobility systems in cities and universities across the U.S. They empower communities to lead happier, more productive lives through alternative forms of transportation, specifically designed for each market served. Please help me welcome Sean Flood, Gotcha Ex Chief Executive Officer. Hello, everybody. Uh, I am very excited to be here. This is the uh, the culmination of so much work. What what impresses me and what excites me about this opportunity is that this is a true example of public-private partnerships. Uh, there are so many partners who made this happen that for the first time ever I think I had to write them down. So I wanted to thank in order um, the mayor, Metro Council, and the city, city parish staff who have worked so hard. Uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Louisiana, we would not be here today without, without their support. Baton Rouge General, uh, the Department of Transportation and Development, uh, Baton Rouge Area Foundation who supported this program since the very beginning, uh, LSU and Southern who have been fantastic partners, the Recreation and Park Commission, uh, Downtown Development District, and the Charles Lamar Foundation. Uh, today is a very exciting day. It's the kickoff of the first pedal assist, 100% electric e-bike system in the state of Louisiana. The at Gotcha, our goal is to get people out of cars with a, ha a happy, active lifestyle. Uh, riding a pedal bike and riding an e-bike are really is what's going to change the, the kind of transportation culture in Baton Rouge. I want everybody who, uh, who is here to, to get a chance to ride a bike, and I want everybody who, who lives in this community to understand that this system is for everybody. It's a great way to tour the city. It's a great way to get back and forth to class. Um, but more importantly, it's a true mode of transportation. So if there are folks at home who say, bike share isn't, isn't for me, I would challenge you to give this a shot and I guarantee you it will change your perception of it. I want to thank everybody for this opportunity. Uh, I want to thank all the Gotcha team who has worked countless hours to, uh, to bring this program to life. We're very excited about this partnership in the years to come. Um, I want to introduce Mayor Broom, who's been an unbelievable supporter of this program. I wanted to thank you very much for allowing Gotcha to partner with the city of Baton Rouge. Thank you. Before you sit down. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. Before you uh, sit down for a hot second, I want to, <laughs> literally, I, I want to uh, celebrate uh, Gotcha being part of the fabric of uh, Baton Rouge. Uh, by giving you this certificate of celebration, thanking you for launching the bike share program here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Thank, thank, you, thank you so, so much, Sean. Thank you. Thank you. Let's hear it again for Gotcha, and thank you so much, Sean. Um, thank you for working to bring your newest and most advanced product right here to Baton Rouge, Louisiana. So with Baton Rouge Bike Share and our partnership with Gotcha, we have truly designed a program that works for our entire community. And this is a, a great additional asset to our city's culture and to our thriving bicycle community, bringing so many assets to enhance our ever-expanding opportunities for citizens to really enjoy and uh, visit our community. You know, I, I, I will be brief in my remarks, but I remember my first year in office, we had a transportation uh, summit I hosted, and the folks from ba Bike Baton Rouge, are any of you all here, Bike Baton Rouge, here? Yeah, you all were at that first transportation summit and you made your presence known and wishes known at that meeting that transportation options certainly mean more than just bigger roads for cars and I heard you all loud and clear. And so the launch of Bike Share in Baton Rouge is another great example of public-private partnerships 
business-led collaborations that continue to serve as major catalysts for profound, profound quality of life advancements. So thank you to everyone who has been a part of this, Blue Cross, Blue Shield, Baton Rouge General, thank you for displaying your commitment to this. Uh, as I said, this speaks volumes to the quality of life partners at DOTD, Baton Rouge Area Foundation, Breck, Downtown Development District, Mid-City Redevelopment Alliance, Charles Lamar Family Foundation, every partner name by name, person by person, organization by organization. This will be a continuous endeavor for all of our agencies and I look forward to continuing to work with all of you all as we strive to improve our citizens and visitors' ability to access bike share in new areas of our parish. I also want to give a last shout out to Front Yard Bikes who put me on my first bike with Move with the Mayor and who are here today to join us with our educational partners such as uh, Southern University, LSU, everyone is taking a part of this. And so last but not least, I would like to give a special thanks to Lindsey Gray who was a consultant to our effort and was a tremendous resource in crafting the way we introduced Spike Share to this community. Unfortunately, Lindsay couldn't be here today, but her valuable input helped us every step of the way, and I want to thank her for aiding our community throughout this process. Thank you all. And Mayor, I also want to give a shout out to you for your leadership during this past week. It was just extraordinary during the tropical storm, I think for the citizens of East Baton Rouge Parish. They were so appreciative to you and all of the city parish team that were involved. Let's give her a hand on that too. I also wanted to mention, I know within the city parish government, there were some key people that worked on this. Uh, Fred Rayford, Tom Stevens, I want to thank you so much for your department and what you did putting this together. We so appreciate that. Councilman Wicker has always been committed to the initiatives that support productive and quality living within her district and the parish and has been instrumental in the revitalization of the bike share program. Please help me welcome the Honorable Councilwoman Tara Wicker. Thank you, Davis, and thank you so much, um, all of you, for uh, being here on this wonderful, hot South Louisiana afternoon. I just want to take a brief moment to, um, again, echo the remarks that came earlier, and just thank you, Tagacha. Um, one of the things, as an elected official, that we always appreciate is information, and timely information. You guys did a remarkable job of making sure that, as elected officials, we were informed. Uh, ahead of time of what was coming, even when there were some delays. Y'all came to us and said, hey, we just want you to know this is what's going on, and that, that is most appreciative to us. We really appreciate that. You know, I'm a, I'm a firm believer that giving citizens um, viable options, and especially having biking as a viable option is really, really critical. Recently, my husband and I became um, sort of active bike riders, and so we take a long, long trip from our house in Mid-City all the way to Tara to take care of our elderly aunt and uncle. And um, having biking as an option in our city is, is something that uh, is not necessarily new, but to some of us, especially in South Louisiana, it's become one of those options that a lot of times we experience going to other cities and have that as a viable option, even as a visitor. And so having that here in our home, right here in the city of Baton Rouge is absolutely critical. Um, I just want to take one moment. Um, the mayor alluded to one of her, her first bike rides and I, I will never forget um, my dear, dear friend who we miss so, so very much, um, Councilman Buddy Amoroso, um, took me on one of my first bike rides and it was only eight miles but I really thought I was going to die y'all in the process and he, you know, rode just so, so graciously and allowed me the opportunity and so since that time I've had an opportunity to also bike with Bike Baton Rouge and just have a wonderful time and now I'm part of that biking community and a firm believer in, in biking as a viable transportation that should be available to all of our citizens as an option. Um, lastly, I do want to just recognize, the, I don't see any of my other colleagues here, so y'all know District 10 is like the best district in the city of Baton Rouge, right? I can say that because none of them are here. But um, we do, I do have the honor
honor of, of course, having this being launched. I'm the council member for downtown, for Southern University, my alma mater, and also LSU where my children are attending. So I feel honored and privileged to have that to be a viable part of those communities and hearing from the students as well as the citizens about the importance of having this. I see Dustin LaFont back there who's also located in the heart of District 10 and teach all of our children the importance of, of, of biking and everything beyond just that. So Dustin, I want to personally, as the mayor did, thank you so much for all that you're doing, for teaching our young people the importance of this and then allowing this to be a viable option. Um, again, I just believe that a healthy city, y'all, is a happy city. And so this is part of our the health and the, the growth of our community. Thank you to Blue Cross Blue Shield for allowing those cute baskets to be on the front as well, because those are functional. As a mama of six kids, if I'm riding, I might need to pack anything. So I appreciate to allowing them to be so functional. Thank you all so much for allowing this to happen in our city and more and more to come. Right, Mayor? Thank you. Thank you, Tara. John Spain and the Baton Rouge Area Foundation have heavily been heavily involved with several initiatives that improve transportation and economic development throughout the state and the city. Library, Shaw Center for the Arts, uh, so many things that have been certainly instrumental in downtown. Uh, he was instrumental in the development of the bike share program that was a key step in making the vision a reality. Please help me welcome John Spain, Executive Vice President of the Baton Rouge Area Foundation. Thank you, Davis, and thanks to the DDD that many, many, many years ago first looked at an EPA grant that started talking about bike share in downtown, and we need to remember that they started this conversation. Almost two and a half, three years ago, we started seriously looking at mobility. Multi parts of that program have now been put in place. If you walk around downtown, you'll see green automobile electric chargers. That was the first part, to bring electric cars downtown, have free charging. From day one, the city of Baton Rouge and the state of Louisiana have been our partner. Mayor, thank you. Thank you for your leadership. Congratulations. You're going to lead people on that bike, and I'm going to be there to watch you. Uh, two and a half years ago, we went to Birmingham, and we had just seen them start this plan. We got on some bikes, and if you've ever been to Birmingham, you understand that there are hills there. And I got on the bike, and I started pedaling two or three times, and I convinced myself that I was really in better shape than I thought. And then they told me I was on an electric assisted bike, which really made me feel not so good about my health, but darn good that I learned about assisted bikes. And as part of our thinking, we said in the heat of summer, or if you haven't been on a bike in a long time, an easy way to reintroduce you to that experience is with assisted bikes. So on a day like today, get on a bike and know that you've got a little help built in. If you haven't been on a bike in a long time, it'll help you understand once again how much fun you can have on that bike. As Sean said, we are starting something special with totally assisted bikes in our community. The other thing that came up fairly obvious is who would put 800 bikes on a street anywhere without a plan? And I want to tell you, almost two and a half years ago, the state, the city parish, any number of government agencies came together to develop a plan for the infrastructure that will be needed to ensure that these bikes can be ridden safely in our community. That work is ongoing. We expect to see the results before the end of the year. It will be the first of its kind, we believe, in the state of Louisiana of a master plan on how we integrate these numbers of bikes into a safe environment. So don't think it's just been bikes on the street. A lot of work behind the scenes has been done to make sure it will be done safely. I'm going to repeat what a number of people have said. These things never happen unless a lot of people come together. I want to thank Davis and the DDD, Mayor Broom, Dr. Sean Wilson at DOTD was a key partner in providing the funding for this project, Edgardo and his team at Baton Rouge General, Charlie Lamar, you're out there. Thank you for your leadership gift that helped it happen. At one time, LSU was going to have a bike plan, Southern was going to have a bike plan, and the city was going to have a bike plan. Thanks to the leadership at our universities in our city, we have one system that allows you to go through all three. Mid-City Development helped in providing a warehouse place for Sean to work out of his team. The Metro Council, it wouldn't have happened without your leadership. 
And so we thank all of you that played a role in making this happen. It's a great day for Baton Rouge. Go ride a bike and thank all of you for being a part of it. Thank you, John. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Louisiana is the presenting sponsor whose generous contribution will help Baton Rouge citizens lead healthier, active lives. Please help me welcome Dr. Vendell Washington, Chief Medical Officer, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Louisiana. Good afternoon. Blue Cross is really happy and pleased to be a part of this effort today to join this great group of citizens, government, private industry, as well as educational uh, organizations in our community for this effort. Our Blue Cross mission really is to improve the health and lives of Louisianians. And we think that this kind of bike share physical activity program fits very squarely right in the middle of what we consider to be near and dear to our hearts and, and can help improve the, the lives of the folks of our, of our state. We were happy and pleased to be a part of the first bike share program in the state, Blue Bikes in New Orleans, and we're also equally pleased and happy and excited to be talking about the Baton Rouge bike share program. I want to make one other comment really just about the health status of our state and the importance of efforts like this. We tend to be low on health status as a state. Uh, unfortunately, the last sort of readout puts us at either 49th or 50th. And it's not so much, in fact, almost never the cause uh, of that low ranking is the care that we receive in the fine institutions of healthcare delivery in our state, like our fellow sponsor, Baton Rouge General. It's almost always driven by lifestyle, health status activities. And so getting out, being more active, being proactive about your health and activity is critical to improving our health status as a, as a state and as a community. So these are important things to us as a plan. Secondly, look, it's also important to get around and not have to worry about parking, to get back and forth in an a easy and convenient and in a way that's sort of helpful to our environment. So we've, as a company, supported for both those efforts. So I'd say when we have an opportunity to work with community partners like this, it makes us very happy. And lastly, we would just encourage you all to join us in and across the community and taking full advantage of the Bike Share program. Thank you very much. Thank you. The Baton Rouge General, with the mission to preserve and restore health, is also a docking sponsor for the Bike Share Program. We are grateful to have with us today Edgardo Tiniero, who's the CEO, President of the Baton Rouge General. Please help me welcome Edgardo. All right, so we're, we're here for, for a few reasons, and I'm going to try to enumerate it as best as I can. First off, I want to thank everybody who had something to do with this. This is phenomenal. This is one step of many that we're going to have to take to, ta to make Baton Rouge a cool city, a city where people want to move back into, uh, you know, ride and walk to work instead of having to get back on, the, on that car. So that's the first reason. Thank you, everybody who was involved in this. The second reason, reason I think Blue Cross uh, and Wendell covered is all the health aspect of, of, of what we're attempting to do. So I'm not going to spend time on that. But I want to remember every person so, who over the last you know, 20, 30 years has had a fatal bicycle accident in, in Baton Rouge. This is a step to make biking again safe in this, in this community. And all those folks who passed, I, I think we, we, we have to remember them. They, they were a big part of, of this. And there's the last thing I want to thank, uh, thank all of you uh, about. I, want, I, I came here because I want to see John Spain get off the train and get on a bicycle. So thank you, everybody. <laughs> Thank you, Ricardo. Bike share locations are also located at LSU's campus, providing students, faculty, and visitors an easy means of transportation within the campus and to downtown. So I might mention that 500 bikes, levy bike trail, LSU football games. Think about it. It worked. <laughs> Please help me welcome Stacy Haney, our Provo for LSU. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Let me just say how, on behalf of President Alexander how thrilled and excited LSU is to be a part of Mayor Broom's Move PR program. We are so excited about the opportunity that uh, Gotcha is going to bring to our campus and to our students. I'm especially appreciative 
of the leadership of Tony Lombardo and of Roger Husser who have helped to develop our master plan uh, in terms of our campus facilities and our pathways and especially to Tammy Milliken who is here in the back who has been front and center uh, leading this effort in particular so that we can have an easier pathway for our students, our faculty, our staff, and our visitors. And we do expect these will be fairly popular on certain Saturdays in the fall, to be sure. But we also think it's gonna be terrific for our students who are gonna be navigating from the south of our campus to the north of our campus. They have 10 minutes in between classes. So we are expecting not only Mayor Broom that this is going to increase our health outcomes for those students, but their GPAs as well. So thank you. Thank you, Stacy. In addition to station locations at LSU, stations will also be located at Southern University's campus on Scotts Bluff to provide easy means of transportation within the campus and the Scotlandville area. In addition, Breck plans to create a bicycle and pedestrian infrastructure improvements to connect Southern and North Baton Rouge to downtown and LSU. I see Corey Wilson over there and Reed Reshore. Raise your hand up. Thank you, Breck, for all your work in that. And uh, North, uh, presently in the planning stages, please help me welcome Robin Merrick, Vice President of External Affairs, Southern University. Thank you, Davis. Appreciate it. Good afternoon, everyone. I bring greetings on behalf of our president, Dr. Ray Belton, to let you know that Southern University is indeed excited as well to partner with the city of Baton Rouge as we offer this bike share program to our Baton Rouge campus here in the city. So we've been working collaborative, collaboratively the last few years in anticipation of this very day that we are here right now launching the bike share program in Baton Rouge. We're having an opportunity to see the fruits of our collective labor come together right now. There will be about eight bike share stations throughout the Southern University campus servicing our students, our faculty, our staff, our uh, visitors and alumni. And we too expect that on certain Fridays and Saturdays even throughout the fall semester, we're expecting that there will be, uh, this will be a huge asset, I should say, to the Jaguar football nation uh, as we prepare to turn our entire campus into a tailgate site when it comes to <laughs> football games. I think you all know something, a little something about that. And we too are excited to link North Baton Rouge uh, to downtown and to South Baton Rouge through this bike share program and working with the many partners that we have here to do that. So many, many, many thanks to Mayor Broom and all of our partners here who are obviously committed because you've gotta be committed if you're out here in 98 degree weather uh, to say that we are supporting this program. So we thank you for your commitment and your vision uh, to see this come to fruition today. So we ask that you uh, stand by because we are planning the launch of the bike share program at Southern University with our students in the coming weeks and we invite you to join us for that. So thank you so much and we look forward to many more great things coming and move Baton Rouge. Thank you. I want to take one moment to raise your hand Michael Tipton. Blue Cross Foundation, first group to really step up and we're looking for uh, sponsors for this event. They have had the success and leadership in New Orleans as we talked about a moment ago. But Michael is here in the crowd and I wanted to thank you personally. We've never asked Blue Cross for anything that you all haven't said yes to when it was good for the community. And we appreciate your leadership as well. Thank you. We're extremely excited about the turnout. We're extremely excited about the community's response to the bike share program, and we think it's a great kickoff for a great program. In New Orleans, we're the title sponsor of the Blue Bikes program. We've seen incredible uh, response. Thousands upon thousands of rides taken, hundreds of thousands of calories burned, and it's become really a fixture of New Orleans. We're hoping to see similar uh, results here in Baton Rouge. What goes through your mind when you take a look at all these bicycles? I'm just glad to see this day come into reality, to be able to, to see so many bikes available for the folks of Baton Rouge. Uh, and we hope it encourages uh, folks to get active in the months uh, and years to come. I'm a firm believer that we have to have partnerships 
to achieve a lot of the goals that we have in the city. And so this public-private uh, partnership of uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield being involved in this, their foundation certainly uh, speaks volume to them as great community partners. We want more, right? And we want them all over the place. So we're concentrated in sort of the downtown uh, uh, Southern and LSU locations, but we want to spread everywhere, yes. We're tired of using cars. We complain about the traffic all the time, right? So this is a way to get out of, uh, out of that rut of the traffic. It's amazing. I mean, uh, first, I love the color of the bikes, uh, but to know that, you know, these bikes, you can go at different speeds. Uh, if you're going uphill, you get a little help. And uh, just to know that they're going to be throughout the community. While we're starting in the downtown area, Southern University will have them on their campus. Uh, LSU will have them on their campus. And so I look forward to having them expanded throughout uh, the city and, and really want to hear what our citizens uh, feel about them. How can people get more information? They can find out more information on our website at uh, bcbsla.com or they can specifically look up Baton Rouge Bike Share and find out how to download the app and get involved.